Hi students, today I am going to explain you about tatomerism. Tatomerism is one of the structural isomerism. Here the isomers are dynamic equilibrium with each other and this isomerism is due to the migration of hydrogen atom from one polyvalent atom to another polyvalent atom. Here tatomerism is nothing but the interconversion of different structures because of the migration of hydrogen atom and it leads to dynamic equilibrium and these isomers we call it as tatomers and this phenomena we call it as tatomerism. Let us see an example of acetone CH3 C double bond O CH3 here the migration of the hydrogens from this polyvalent atom into this polyvalent oxygen takes place then this bond turns it leads to the formation of this isomer one of the hydrogen from this carbon migrates to this oxygen then CH2 it forms one bond already there whenever this bond turns here we will get one more bond and carbon which is having single bond oxygen here one of the hydrogen transfer to here then we get hydrogen here this is as it is you write here the bond is turning here because of the migration of this hydrogen from this polyvalent atom to this polyvalent atom. That's why this tatomerism we also called it as desmotropism. Because according to Greek, desmo means bond, tropism means or Tropo means turn. Because of the migration of the hydrogen, the bond is turned from here to here. That's why it is called as desmotropism. Because of the presence of C double bond O, we call this isomer as keto form. And because of the presence of this double bond and alcohol group, we call it as enol form and this phenomena we call it as keto enol tatomerism let us see few examples and tell me which is exhibit tatomerism and which compound does not exhibit tatomerism see these examples and tell me which compound exhibits tatomerism and which compound does not exhibit tatomerism before telling about the compounds which exhibit tatomerism and which won't exhibit tatomerism we, you should keep two things in your mind that first one is the compound should have electronegative atom bonded to multiple bond and the second thing is compound should have at least one acidic hydrogen atom present on alpha carbon of the molecule if you see this molecule it is having electronegative atom which is uh, bonded through multiple bond and it is having a alpha hydrogen means the hydrogen which is attached to alpha carbon this is called alpha hydrogen or acidic hydrogen these two are the must conditions for a compound to exhibit tatomerism keep in mind students whenever you or solving any kind of uh, illustration two things you should see for tatomerism first thing is it should have electronegative atom that is bonded through multiple bond the second reason is it should have alpha hydrogen means the carbonyl group next carbon is called alpha carbon this is c double bond o group carbonyl group the next carbon is alpha carbon and the hydrogen attached to is alpha hydrogen it the compounds must have alpha hydrogen now let us see the examples
it exhibits stratomerism or not exhibits stratomerism because the first condition it is having electronegative atom and it is having alpha hydrogen see this example exhibits or not first condition it is having electronegative atom bonded through multiple bond and it is having alpha hydrogen so it exhibits if you see this example it is having multiple bond and having electronegative atom but it is having alpha carbon but not having alpha hydrogen no alpha hydrogens no acidic hydrogens then this compound won't exhibits the tautomerism this compound